You guys, wow. No contour, no highlight. Girl, it's just eyeshadow, frost, lashes, and lips. So you guys, it is my birthday. Stay tuned, keep watching, because there's gonna be a lot, a lot of clips. And I want to take this time to thank all you guys for all the birthday wishes. So you guys, stay tuned, keep watching, because I'm about to let you guys know how to do this. Oh my God. You guys, I literally cut myself shaping. So if you guys see me like dabbing on this, OMG. Today, as I'm filming this, it is my birthday. Today is Sunday, December 15. I'm gonna go ahead and do a really, really fun birthday look. Also, throughout the video today, I'm gonna be having clips of my birthday last night, um, which was so much fun. Yeah, you guys have a date? Smart. What do you guys do today? Today, we're gonna go ahead and dive into Color Pop Cosmetics. So, as you guys know, we did the unboxing and I unraveled six of these cool color palettes. Now, these palettes are all monochromatic, which I actually don't own monochromatic palettes. I'm gonna be creating a cool look today using the blue, purples, and yellow. Uh, maybe a little bit of hot pink in there. I don't think I'm gonna do brows today I'm kind of feeling to blow up with some big big shadows. So before we start go ahead and hit that subscribe button I want to see you guys again. I have nothing on my face So because I am bleeding I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes first and hopefully when we get to the chin It's gonna be good for foundation because I don't like to put wet foundation on like an open cut So first you guys we're gonna go ahead and pull out an eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay I've used this a few times. I do love it. I actually don't even use the doe food that it comes with I actually just put it on on a beauty blender. So because today we're gonna go ahead and do... All right, you guys, so we are... Oh, we're done with both of this. Happy birthday! Oh, look at everybody's here. Eyes first. I'm really gonna make sure my eyes are primed. And I think I might do something really cool with my blush today where it's gonna be like kind of pink, blown out. I'm really trying to go for like a bright disco fever, like dancing queen. I've actually been really, really obsessed with purple eyes lately. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and start um, really blowing out the pinks. I don't have a pink palette. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a pink shadow from the Morphe. This is the 15S. This color is called Bestie. It's like a really bright pink. I might dip into a little bit of bay and then we're gonna jump right into the purples. And I think about doing a really frosty blue lid to kind of go with it. And then maybe I might take some yellow and I might you know, just kind of blow out like the inner part. Look at my husband. Hi, husband. Oh my god. Hi. Everybody, look at Carissa. What kind of padding did you use on her? Did you see her? <laughs> look at everybody's here. <laughs> Who's that? Was that today? Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a hole already? <laughs> Wow. Don't show her that. Let me see. <laughs> it's like kind of like my crease. I'm gonna blow it out in a way where it doesn't really go down and just make sure we keep it all the way up. Now, I hope I'm not gonna give you guys like a butterfly kind of look. Oh, I'm trying to say very like disco, fever, cut crease, really like midnight blue lid. But I do like blow out shadows. I go really big because obviously we're gonna go in and really add darker colors. We're gonna go ahead and add a lot of like other colors that kind of make it the shadow. So if it looks like I'm doing like so much pink, um, you're really not gonna see this much pink. It's just kind of like sketching out the shape of this eye. Now we are gonna go ahead and incorporate makeover. Now let's just kind of lightly define that crease. Look at Amaya. Yeah. Come on, Amaya. Look at Jose. Hey, baby. Look at Gia. Yeah. She just, she's on an all liquid diet. What did you want to do? This is gonna give it just some character. It's not gonna be just looking like one color. I still wanna keep it super hot pink. See, it kinda gives it like some character, some dimension. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the purple. So this is the color pop, it's my pleasure. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the color chiclet and let's really intensify that crease. Oh my god, it's so pretty already. The chiclet color is a shimmer purple, so that's why it's just blending so soft, so pretty. I will give you $20 right now. If give me that a, breath. If you take a <laughs> if you take a bite of this fish head. Well you gotta take a bite out of the forehead. You guys are lucky I'm drunk, because look at it. Oh my god. Oh, put it in your mouth like you need to. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're getting off on this, like lick it. Wow. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I 
do love shimmers on top of mattes. It's always been like my go-to when I do shimmers. I hate shimmers by itself unless it's like a vanilla color. I just find it's really hard to really place it. So when you're blowing it out, I really recommend putting like a shimmer on top of a matte. It just kind of helps the color more. So taking that same color with a different brush, now we're gonna go ahead and intensify the bottom. You see what I mean, you guys? How we don't even see that pink anymore. You guys are probably gonna be getting like freaking out. Oh my God, come on, that's so much pink. It's coming together. Bitch, like these colors are like not what I would go to, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna challenge myself. Y'all was, that was the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> that could be exciting. Can I just tell you, every table does the exact same thing. I was, it's it's like, like ever since the cell phone camera, everyone has forgotten how to sing Happy Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Oh my God. No. Take a bite. <laughs> take a bite. No, I'm bleeding. Now we're gonna go ahead and really, really intensify that purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this color. This is called Sleeper. I don't know if this color is really gonna do anything for me, but I actually am just very curious on what it could do. So yeah, I was right. It's not gonna do anything because I think the color is just so different from that nice purpley frost, which I don't even think I need to add more purple. We're gonna cut this crease with a blue P. Louise M. Mitchell collaboration. Um, and this is what's gonna really intensify the blue. I rarely do shimmers on my lids. It freaks me out, but ColourPop has a little individual shadow. Just go on. I'll get mine in an hour. Just get it going. Get it going. And I got a simple salad. You wanna see my paper sit? <laughs> I wanna see yours. Do you have one? My friends are so crazy. They're just crazy. Look at them. You have a bag? A bag? A bag? A bag? A bag? Create that one. Super Shock Shadow, this is Ringlet. I think this color would be like super pretty on this eye. Hmm. I'm gonna swatch it before I do the blue. I kinda wanna get all my purples on. Oh wow. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do with this. Hold on, we're gonna put this aside. This is so pretty. We're gonna just go right into this blue. Now, the trick with the P. Louise, you guys, is it sets itself, meaning like it dries down. I personally like to put things on top of it. Um, I don't really use the color that it has. For example, like this is the blue. I'm gonna put things on top of it. Now, this is a gorgeous blue, and I get that. If you're gonna put like blue on top of it, it makes it more like intense. What? <laughs> what? Why is there two dust bombs? No! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Second year! Second year! <laughs> Second year! <laughs> I love her. I like to girl do the most. I like to be extra. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut this crease. Now, when it comes to the P. Louise, you guys, I've used this many, many times, and I think the brush does matter. So using something very super fine and flat is helpful because when you're cutting that crease, you guys want to like make sure that crease is very, very straight. Now you really want to make sure that line is super straight. So as you guys see here, get a little closer look. Now that is a crease, you guys. So same thing here. And honestly, like their products last forever. It's her birthday, give her two. I mean, she don't even got a phone to lose, so. What about her morals? What about her morals? You know what, underneath all that beauty I did for you, is Miss Charnchable. What? You like chocolate cake, Bruce? What was the reason you were uh, <laughs> I have been using it for maybe a few months now and I don't even think I need to get a refill anytime soon. Oh, and by the way, I lost my phone. So anyone, you guys, I haven't been on social media for my, well, one, my birthday entire weekend. So I lost my phone on Friday. Whatever, just, 
it is what it is. If you guys have been trying to get a hold of me and saying happy birthday, I haven't seen it yet. So when I get my phone and hopefully by the time you guys see this, I will respond to all of my birthday wishes. That is so pretty. Okay, so setting that blue aside seat, that was literally you used nothing. She's the alcoholic. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. I'm in my own business. You don't want to get a knife, right? <laughs> She's a fan of it. She has a record. Is it? They were missing you than they're expunged now. She went to TV. Comes to the blues, you guys. I like to be very, very vibrant. So I'm gonna be jumping into fine china. I'm gonna do some tadpole, and then hopefully that pops. Because, and I'm gonna keep this real. I really do have trouble sometimes uh, making your eyelids super shimmery. I think I'm not using the, the right brush. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into fine china and start packing on. I really, really want it to be like midnight. Oh wow, that's pretty. This is the fine china blue. Show us, what is it? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> the color pigment is really pigmented. Like I'm not really like trying so hard to like make sure the color comes out. And now let's kind of see what the color tadpole looks like. It's not really looking like what I want it to look. Maybe I have to wet it. Let's try wetting it because it's not really like, wow. See, I'm telling you, like I have the hardest time doing like shimmer shadows on lids. Like I don't feel like I need to wet it all the time to get it on there. I feel like it should just go on. Okay, see so, you now wetting it obviously just made it like super better. And the fallout is insane. See how that shimmer just really tied it up? Made it pop more. I think the fine china would be nice if it was just on actual bare skin. Um, and then when I wet my brush. So how does it turn into this? At midnight, right? Yeah. What's oh my god, at midnight! Oh, oh my god, I'm 31. Oh god, didn't you just realize that right now? Uh, the birthday Honestly, I don't really figure out my age, but I had like a little moment when I freaked out about it. Probably 32. You go the line. Looking 25. I'll be 31. You've been getting 31 and I think I'm out tight pool to really give it like that shimmer pop I fell in love with it more but I really want to make it more like light so let's go ahead and jump into this color here called Lumi and hopefully that kind of brings out the center I really really like want to make it like pop you know what I mean like right now it's cute I like it but we can make it better so taking that color Lumi oh yeah see so this kind of like makes it more frosty this is giving me like Elsa oh wow look at that Wow, okay, so that is the color Lumi. I am shook. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I'm really curious on this really pretty dark blue here. It's like a navy color called Clued In. Um, I actually wanna see what that's gonna do. I kinda think we need some little definition here. So, taking a clean brush. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. That's the color Clued In. Does that look like bigger? Does that look like sweet? Does it look bigger? Yeah, it looks better. This yeah, it looks better than how it did last night because last night it's like it felt like sitting it was, in. Yeah, uh huh. It I'm going back for another touch up. Uh huh. Like a little. I don't think you need a touch up. <laughs> so far, this is my favorite color in the palette. Not because it's dark, but it's like literally doing what it's supposed to do. But I think a blue liner would be cool. I don't know. Fuck, I wish I can conversate with you guys so you guys can tell me right now, like, as I'm doing this. So, let's go ahead and take out some blue liner. Do I love it? No. Do I care for it? Not really. This is why I always do black or white liner. That's kind of like, whatever. I actually really want to add more of this pink. I feel like it kind of left my face when I was like wiping away all the fallout. So I'm going to go back into that color bestie and just really liven up this pink. I think a little yellow right here would really make it pop. So in the yellow, you guys, this is called the Uh Huh Honey Palette. I'm going to be using the color Sweet Spot. I might even do something with the Palooza. This is really pretty. It's almost like a very, very chunky glitter. Let's kind of see what this does. Oh. I mean, it did something. It's not really pigmented as what I thought it would be. I do like what it did. It kind of like really softened my inner corner. I like it. I'm not mad about it. Can you tell? Well, that yellow is kind of like whatever to me. <laughs> you guys are probably like, I'm not even sold. <laughs> so we're going to jump into the big one. So let's go and see this big glitter. And it's just like chunky glitter. I don't think I need to wet it. I think the glitter really just kind of sticks to itself. i never seen it like that. Wow. It's really cute. 
You can look like a boy with a strap. Is there a strap? There's no strap. Oh, there's no strap on it. It's on the inside. Can I wear it tonight? Yeah. Yeah, with your outfit. I've never seen it in like lime green. Hopefully it doesn't ruin my eyeshadow. Oh wow. OMG. That is so pretty. Okay, you guys definitely like took my heart. Do not get it in your eye. Wow, that is some pretty chunky glitter. I kinda wanna put it all over my eye. Let's put some on top. Okay, that's a mistake. Oh, hell no. It looks really good. I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, So this is metallic liquid liner. This color is called Gold Rush. I think a little crease line would be nice from the glitter. So let's just kind of see what it does. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm already obsessed. That's so pretty, look at that. Um, that's definitely going right there. So, so far, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is hydrating. So you just take a brush. I usually either use my hand or a brush, um, but I do feel like when you're doing primers, using a brush or a beauty blender is the best way. Today, we're gonna go ahead and use something thicker. You want, you want more? Huh? You want more? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Shout out to Mayron for sending me some foundations. I'm gonna be using the foundation cream blend stick. This is very, very similar to Krylon. This is something that I will use like on stage. The finish is more of like that velvet finish. Um, so I take a lighter color and this is where I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna do a soft little highlight today. Taking the beauty blender and now we're gonna go ahead and just let it out. I'm gonna contour really soft today because I am gonna blow out a lot of pink um, on my sides here to really give you like that disco-y feel. Now let's go ahead and set that makeup. Oh, it's so pretty. Today I'm gonna use Slay All Day from Draw Cosmetics with Rich Lux. And I use this one a lot. I'm gonna highlight a little bit with like a lighter powder, but we're not gonna bronze so much. I sometimes realize when you wear like a lot of contour like myself, it just makes a really weird color if you mix it with browns. I never really recommend using pink with contour colors because it just looks really, really off. So if you're going to use pink, I like pink blush by itself. We are going to go ahead and get into the blush. I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to have to use shadow for this because I don't own pink blush. <laughs> So I'm really honestly using the Morphe. This is the Besties. And I'm mixing Bay and Bessie together. That hair match is good, huh? I thought it was her real hair. No, her hair is damaged. <laughs> oh. Now we're gonna go ahead and just really blow out that pink. You really wanna take it to like the edge, almost the hairline, and you wrap it kind of underneath your cheek, almost like a contour, but it's not like your traditional contour, and it's coming out the way I want it. So this is a matte color, so we're gonna go in and really give it like that shimmer, but once we get all the mattes down, you guys. Now the question is, do I have shimmer pinks? Now there's this color here called Influencer. Um, this is a really pretty purple. I'm like already so obsessed with this. And just kind of taking it and just really blowing this edge out. So everything is super seamless. There's no lines. We're gonna go ahead and add this really pretty color. Remember I found this? This is called Ringlet, and these are ColourPop eyeshadows that come in singles. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. This is where it's gonna start really tying together. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm already so obsessed. It's super pink. Okay, so that's um, super cool. So this is called Ringlet. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna put some Jeffree Star. I think some Jeffree Star highlight on this would be pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out his new Extreme Frost. Let the quiet sing! You're taking too long to open it. The followers are like, oh, it's a little bad. This one's called Lick My Glit. Okay, so it definitely intense it, obviously. Wow, look at that. It just looks almost like metallic. I'm super into it. It definitely made the shadow look really, really metallic. It's almost like that mannequin finish. I think I kind of like it just the way it is. So let's go ahead and pop on a lash. All right, you guys, so lashes on as that's trying. We're gonna go ahead and put on some lip shades today. Um, now, you guys, I love this pink bag, so shout out to Jeffrey for sending me this. This is all filled. Let me just show you guys these lips. Lips, girl. <gasps> Which one do I use? 
Should I use this is purple Urkel or yes, ma'am? I think so for this. So today you guys, we're gonna be using yes, ma'am. And this one is called candy drip in gloss. Okay, so you guys, this is so stunning. How are my new lips? And then now we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of candy drip on top. Now let's go ahead and pull out the liner. I'm just gonna finish my lining my eyes and then we are ready for a wig. All right, you guys, just finished the look. I think I'm gonna try this on and let's see what the wig, let's see what it looks like. But if I don't like it, I think a bald look is okay too. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I didn't like a wig at all. Was, all my wigs are a hot mess. That means I had a long, long, long birthday weekend where like these wigs need to be like done. So I'm gonna give you guys no hair today. This is the look. You know what ColourPop reminds me of is MAC Cosmetics where they do like collaborations where they incorporate like cartoons and Elsa's and shit to it. It's not really my tea to be honest. Um, you can't really sell me makeup when you have a cartoon character in the front. But ColourPop, I do love their options. I love like their idea with the monochromatic palettes. Um, I love their frost. Like their frosts are pretty, pretty cool. In the meantime, you guys, I'm gagging. Hit that subscribe button. I wanna see you guys in a few days. Happy birthday to me. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the clips. I know my friends are hot messes. It was a long, long weekend. I lost my phone. I love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in a few days.